worry about it. Don't worry about no maintenance or nothing there. No. Hey, what's going on? Mr. Dave here at the Alpine Youth Center, and we are doing a show, and it is Sunday, the last day, and we're really excited. We had a great show with lots of people who participated and guests that showed up, and I'm really excited to share with you an artist who's part of the Alpine Art League, of which I'm president, which I neglected to mention, and uh, her name is, tell me your full name. See, I, I timed it on purpose to, so she just ate a cracker or something. So, my name is Ida. You want me to tell them the full name? Tell them the full name. I think you're, I like the full name, it's more interesting. My name is Ida Desolina Candelaria. Do I look into the camera or you? You look into the camera. Oh, ah, okay. Or me. Okay. <laughs> you just want me to laugh. It's okay. <laughs> it's all right. Doesn't matter. But. My name is Ida Desolina Candelaria. Mm -hmm. And you work in, work. What, work, what medium are you working in, uh, It's Ida? Um, primarily acrylic. Mm -hmm. However, sometimes I get into mixed media. I'll throw in... Um, uh, charcoal, uh, oil, uh, pastels, sometimes. With the acrylic? With the acrylic. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. And is that how you've come up with these wonderful uh, the pieces? Because they, they they're very different and unique. Um, it's, it's mostly an intuitive process. Uh -huh. What I generally approach a ca canvas is by just filling the surface with the color and then I'll apply another color until I start getting a color combination that seems to be working. Uh, as a base, sort of, as, as a, a foundation. Base. Right. And then sometimes I'll get inspired by different things. Um, I went through an inspiration of just uh, uh, painting foliage. Mm. And um, it doesn't pre the, the painting that you see there with the leaves is not a particular plant. It's just something I made up, mm -hmm. but inspired by different plants. Yes. And um, often I will approach a painting not by just the subject itself, but often from the negative space around it. Mm. And uh, so if I have an image or a, an idea that I want to see a tree maybe, or the leaves, then um, I'll start filling in the space around what I think would be, the, where the leaf would be, or the tree would be. Sort of highlight that space. Find that to be a nice little game, a nice little exercise of, mm. of how it's going to come out. And discovery. Sometimes it works, sometimes it <laughs> How long have you been painting, Desalina? Uh, basically all my life. Oh, wow. As a child, I think the, the, the most profound image I had was in the second grade. The teacher um, had introduced us uh, to paint, to mm. finger painting. Good old finger painting. I had yep. a surface in front of me, and we were able to put color on it. And I, I remember just sticking my hands in there because it felt so good. And then I looked at my hands, and it just somehow <laughs> made me light up to where <laughs> that excitement still carries me today. Oh, wow. I love it. I just love it. Now, I won't ask you how many years that's been, but no. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. Well, it's, it's obvious that your, uh, your years invested in this pursuit are just... Uh, uh, astonishing. The, the the payoff is amazing. I want to I want to walk and look at some of these. Okay. I think it's something that I feel I need to do. It's like an itch. Mm. Uh, I get images in my head that I often have to just put down on a surface. Sometimes I'll have an image and it'll wake me up at two o'clock in the morning and I'll get up and start painting. Um, so it's something that I can't turn my back on. Mm. It's always there, and, um, and it also brings me so much joy and peace. And other other people too who get to it's just a, see your work. Well, I got to say the rest of us are blessed too. Um, Desalina's work is just magical, and a lot. Look at this; it's just amazing. The color choices. Can't you just see that on your wall, folks out there? I tell you, Ida is going to be offering classes in the future. Yes, we're tormenting her. We're going to make her, make her teach this wonderful style, and then and just where passion is, 
what drives her and this sort of thing. And so I, uh, I'm just really blessed to have met yeah. this Selena. And I'm really enjoying the time we're spending with her here at the uh, Alpine Art Lake. And so we're really gonna look forward to her class coming up and your participation. So come on down to the Alpine Art League uh, if you can make it today, Sunday, the 15th of uh, October. And so this video is only gonna be <laughs> appropriate for like a couple more hours. <laughs> uh, the rest of you, never mind the time I'm talking about right now, just get uh, involved with art and creativity. Explore the, the side of yourself that has, uh, that is, is a part of God's spark. We all have that in us. No one is missing that. We're all artists inside. So I just love that. So Dave Henderson here at the Alpine Art League, and we are looking forward to seeing you sometime at one of our meetings uh, on the third Tuesday of every month up here in Alpine. It's the Alpine Library, unless that changes. We just keep track of uh, the YouTube videos and the Alpine, let's see, www.alpineartleague.org to keep track of what's going on. So Mr. Dave here, remember to be grateful, forgiving, and in doing that you make a place where uh, joy can grow and out of joy can come happiness. And we love that because it's more fun being happy. Yes, yes. yes. All right, so we'll see you next time. Mr. Dave here, signing off. God bless y'all, bye. bye.